Hello and welcome to myfinanceteacher.org. When I recently looked at the stock market uh, with the members uh, in uh, early October, I mentioned that I didn't really trust that rally in the very beginning of October and that I was uh, going to wait uh, for a little longer until a more recognizable daily cycle low. After all, into that recent low, the daily cycle was only around uh, 24 days long. That's a bit too short for a cycle. And since then, the rally has disappeared completely and the daily cycle as of the close yesterday is 34 days long. That's much better, although uh, the usual cycle duration is around a couple of months. But after the previous uh, relatively long cycle, we might actually see a shorter daily cycle, like we saw in uh, May to June after a relatively long cycle from March to April and May. I'm not actually saying that it's uh, time to buy now. Instead, we'd uh, better wait and see how the market reacts to, let's say, the inflation data coming out soon. Zooming in a little bit, a repeated poke below the Bollinger Band is usually a sign of a bit of a reversal. So if the stock market uh, does that again over the next several days, that could be a potential sign of a possible cycle low coming up soon as well. And now if you zoom out and look at a longer term chart, we see that the 50% Fibonacci retracement of all of this rally since that pandemic low isn't actually that far from current levels. So if the stock markets uh, drop a little bit into the end of the ongoing cycle low and test as well as bounce from that 50% FIB level, a uh, bit of a support zone, then that would be encouraging as well. Next, looking at the market sentiment, the optimism index on the general stock market, we see that the last time we saw a new intermediate cycle rally in the S&P 500, it was actually preceded with a bit of a positive divergence on this optimism index. We might actually repeat the history a little again, implying again those pokes below the Bollinger Bands, perhaps a retest of that 50% Fibonacci retracement with a new low over the next few days, and a corresponding higher low and a positive divergence on the market optimism index. That is quite likely over the next short term, although a less likely scenario, which is still possible, is a complete crash down, bringing the optimism index significantly lower as we saw during that pandemic crash, for example. That is still a possibility, as nobody knows the future, so you don't want to catch a falling knife right now, you just want to prepare and see if there are any signs of reversal over the next several days to a couple of weeks. As the daily cycle approaches uh, 40 days uh, or longer, keeping in mind that we might actually see shorter than average, shorter than two months duration, given that the previous cycle was a bit long. Looking at crude oil, we see that over the last couple of weeks, crude oil is showing that it started a new cycle here, breaking above the 50-day moving average and break this uh, cycle down trend line. Those are all positive signs. And just as I mentioned about the previous cycle several weeks ago in one of my recent videos, the cycle was likely to stretch a little exactly into 170 days long, after the previous couple of cycles were uh, quite shorter than average. The average duration is now around 160 days over the last few years. And as the stock market is likely to soften down into the upcoming short-term daily cycle low, I expect crude oil to retest some of the recent breakouts, perhaps a retest of the 50-day moving average, or maybe even a retest down to the middle of the Bollinger Band is quite likely. To be honest, it took me several attempts with USO to get into a relatively comfortable position by now, but as we always say for an asset that has rallied, it would have been nicer to uh, have bought a larger allocation. So as a retest is likely over the next few days, I'll try to accumulate a bit more of USO into those support zones. After all, looking at this crude oil optimism index, a couple of weeks ago that optimism index came down to 36, uh, more or less mid-30s, and uh, anywhere around 30 is uh, historically a good buying opportunity, with the exception of the last year when the intermediate cycle lows came with the optimism index much higher, around 50 rather than 30. But again, to repeat what I often like to say, remember that buying opportunity often comes when this uh, proverbial blood is on the streets. When the optimism index is in mid-30s, one might argue that uh, there isn't uh, too much blood on the streets yet, but compared to what we've seen over the last year, again, that might be enough of uh, fear in the market for you to consider some sort of allocation.
And of course, together with the members at myfinanceteacher.org, we've discussed all of these issues and more. So join us for more details. It's only five bucks for the first month and ten dollars per month after that. So it's basically nothing, especially in the current inflationary environment. Uh, it's uh, more or less same as uh, sharing a couple of beers a month with me. Have a nice day and bye bye.